So I guess if you, if you can, just explain some of the tests you did. I've, I've seen some of your YouTube videos and I'll post links also mm -hmm. to those, but just give everyone a quick uh, rundown of some of the tests you did to, well, uh, to explain. The, 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 very first, the very first test that I did is I just took um, blocks of wood of different species. Mm -hmm. And, um, the, and it wasn't, there was no neck or anything like that. And it was just basically a pickup, a bridge, and the tuners. And I figured if, if species makes a difference, I should be able to hear a difference between each one of these species. And I took a number of species and I all, I played each one of them and they all sounded the same. Mm -hmm. and it didn't matter what species it was. And I was just sitting there and I'm thinking, okay, well then it must be the neck, it must be the next species then. And then, so what I ended up doing is I took bodies and I changed out the necks and no, not really. And, and I only started noticing a difference when you start dealing with bridges that don't have a lot of mass. And when you start dealing with very thin necks or necks that are poorly connected to the body, um, if, if you get a pickup that has a metal um, cover on it and it hasn't been wax potted, Sometimes you can get a little bit of some funny stuff happening there, okay. but ultimately, ultimately, um, all the tests that I did, I just kept coming back to the same thing: that the species does not matter. What matters is how you build the guitar and how it's constructed. That's what matters. And you, you know, um, when you tell that to some people, good lord, they get so angry. Uh, and I mean, like when I first had to accept that there that this whole tone wood on, on solid body electric guitars was basically bullshit. To me, it was almost as hard um, as you know, you know, becoming an atheist from being a Christian. <laughs> yeah, and, and it was really hard for me. I was in denial for a good week or so, and then finally, I just accepted it. I said, "Well, this is what all the evidence points to, and if anybody can prove to me otherwise, then I'll be more than willing to change my mind." And there's been a few uh, people on YouTube that have done videos that says this proves Tonewood, but every single one of their tests, I can see where it's flawed because mm -hmm. they they didn't take in a certain factor that can dramatically change the way that a, a guitar sounds like you might and like and here, this is off of tone wood this is off of tone wood but um you you'll see people do this type of shit all the time on youtube guitarists i mean i hate saying it because they're my bread and butter they're generally not that bright okay <laughs> and when they decide to do a test or an experiment they're not thinking about any of the other factors. They're only thinking about this one factor. And so you'll see somebody say, you know, <clears throat> this, this particular pickup or this particular guitar, what sounds better? And so what they'll do is they'll take like a pickup and then they'll put this pickup in a strap and they'll play it. And they take it out and then they put it in a Les Paul and they play it. And then they sit there and they'll say, oh, well, this doesn't sound good. And it's like, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. You can't do that because you're dealing with two different scale lengths. You're dealing with different bridges. You're yeah. dealing with all these different things, all these different factors. And, um, you know, one pickup does not fit all. Mm. That's another mistake that a lot of guitarists make. They, they go on the Seymour Duncan website or something and they go, I need to have a rock, like a real heavy, you know, thing. And they'll say, this <laughs> is, that one is made for that. But they're not thinking about their guitar and is it going to work with that particular guitar because depending on how your guitar is, it's scaling, the type of bridge that you're using and everything like that, it might not perform the way that you think it's going to perform. So Because so it, it really is a to totality of yeah, the guitar. So if you had two identical, um, say like with that new cardboard strat that's come out and I won't hand <laughs> you about that because I know you've got plenty yeah. of emails about it. But my, my theory was like I had a Squire and I also had a Fender Strat. So... Um, if I, I took the pick guard out of one, put it in the other, you know, tone wise, it basically sounds like the pickups. So yeah, that was even, even a simple home test, which doesn't take into account all the factors, of course, by changing the hardware. Um, mm -hmm. I think, I think that cardboard strat might be uh, a pretty good example of how, you know, something that's not even made of wood still sounds exactly like a strat. And m my guess would be if we took that, all that hardware out of that guitar, put it in a wood guitar and you did a blindfold test, what, what's your opinion? Would there be any difference in the tone? There would be a little bit more yeah. sustain. And I imagine, I imagine that, well, see, this is the thing. That cardboard guitar was impregnated with resin. 
Hmm. And it, you know, because a cardboard by itself, there's no way it could hold the hardware with the amount of tension that is on those strings. Yeah. And th one of the reasons why I haven't even brought up that guitar or saying that this is the end of the Tonewood debate, because it really isn't. Okay. All I mean, uh, it, I, when I see that guitar, what I see is just, um, well, paper, basically, it does come from a tree, mm -hmm. right? Cardboard does yeah, come from a tree. Yeah, exactly. And, and so the the question is, is if you ended up having that guitar and you put it right and you switch the hardware with a, a Strat that was made of alder, would the alder one sound brighter than the cardboard? And and, and so this is this is where the debate, it doesn't end. It, yeah, it creates okay. new things because now <laughs> yeah. there's there's tone cardboard. Now we have tone cardboard. Yeah. And then there'll be a relic tone cardboard at one point as well, which costs you an extra grand. Exactly. And then if you have somebody sign it, then it costs you an extra 1200 It's pretty funny that, that the guys in the uh, the custom shop mentioned that, hey, you know, hey, it just sounds like a Strat. <laughs> you know, that that's pretty funny, I thought. The, 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 well, yeah, the of, cor it, of course. Yeah. It, of course it's going to sound like a Strat. It's using Strat hardware and Strat electronics. Of yeah. course it's going to sound like a Strat. I mean, um, same scale length. It, it's, mm. you know, the, but the Tonewood debate has really always been about... Um, does this species somehow end up making your tone warmer or brighter, right? I mean, a Les Paul is still going to sound like a Les Paul no matter what you make it out of. And, you know, a Strat's going to sound like a Strat. It's just can you shape your tone using just, you know, uh, different types of wood? Yeah. That's really what it's all about. And, and I think that, uh, you know, the real, I mean, the realization is, the species, unless you go on an extreme, isn't going to make a difference. Unless you go on an extreme, and but if you end up, if you end up, um, how you build a guitar though can make a difference. Not really in the tone, but it'll it'll change the dynamics of it. So you'll you know it'll have more sustain. The attack will be different. Like there's there's going to be certain nuances you're going to pick up that you're not going to pick up on this other guitar the way that's built. I mean we've all picked up uh, Strat copies or something, and it's like the notes are all dead. It, you know it's just like it sounds like shit. Yeah. Uh, doesn't matter. It's got a maple neck. It's got an alder body. It according to the Tonewood guys, it should sound this way. And and it's some, there's something else going on. Yeah. There's yeah. other factors. You know. Okay.